Hey guys, a few things before we start off this episode. Uh, so first of all, this is recorded way before the Splatfest. So yes, I know Splatfest currently right now are rigged. So uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. But on a more important note for the hero mode, a friend of mine brought this to my attention that if you cover every gray, gray square on your map, cover everything, ex explored every nook and cranny, splat like certain spots you can't reach, stuff like that, you'll be able to go to Marie, talk to her, and get yourself an expiration sticker. Make sure you fill up each and every one of those spots to get your expiration sticker. But without further ado, on to the video. It, it's an up, it's going down. From the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we are live. Here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink. Shiver Fry and Big Man. Let's see the current battle stages. Drum roll and bam! Big Man, it's your time to shine. Hit us with your best advice. Uh, try different weapons and different strategies. Uh, I panicked. Important update for job seekers. We've been informed that Drisco is hiring. Drisco. If you've always wanted to show these salmonoids who's boss, now's your chance. And that's it for now. Ooh, spicy. For Spicefield, that's a wrap. Catch ya later. How interesting. So, what's going on, guys? Think we're 3, 2, 1 here. Welcome you all back to some more Splatoon 3. How you doing, Small Fry? The MVP of the story, as you can obviously tell. Right now, I'm not going to uh, go to the story. Well, the story will be covered later in the episode, but for right now, I want to show off online battles. This is the one thing that a lot of people just run straight towards when playing Splatoon, so. Might as well go check it out before we continue more in the uh, game itself. Welcome to the lobby. It's your portal to online battles and where you stash all your gear. As you level, as you splat forth on in online battles, you'll level up and earn cash to boot. Why level up and get cash so you can access and afford the freshest gear in Splatsville? I don't know why I said that with the question. <laughs> and some battle modes are restricted to players at a higher level too. So get that level up. First things first, why don't you check out the battle pod over there and select a regular battle? That'll get you into a turf battle. Your team will have three minutes to ink the most per turf. Uh, let's chat more splat. Let's get started. So, this is the lobby. The lobby before we go and do our little battles. And before anything else, let's go talk to the main man himself. Your style is as fresh as an old litter box. Go play some turf battles in the battle pot. Oh. And once you've leveled up a bit, don't forget to visit Ammo Knights in the Square. Thanks, Judd. <laughs> oh, hello there. Welcome. This is your first time here, isn't it? How splendid. I do hope you'll become a regular here at the Grab and Go. I don't mean to boast, but our food doesn't just fill your belly. It can help fill your experience bar or even your wallet when you grab a snack before battle. Oh, I meant grab. Just one thing before you order, dearie. We don't accept cash here. I'm afraid you'll need tickets. There. With that all said, what can I get for you today? So, if you remember from last episode, I managed to find a ticket while cleaning up one of the islands. So, when you start off the game first, if you haven't gotten to Splatoon 3 already, like, come on, like, get the game. It's so fun. I'll show you guys the reason why it's so fun to a lot of people, too, even after you complete the story. We get our main weapon and our basic gear. We have ourselves the Splattershot Jr., the weapon that we had during the tutorial. Our sub weapon, which is our bombs, is a Splat Bomb. And our special is Big Bubbler. Honestly, I have no idea what Big Bubbler, well, I think I have an idea what Big Bubbler does. Got our Splat Bomb. Pretty standard bomb, nothing too useful. And our Bubbler, which I have seen. It's a temporary shield 
and if opponents hit the shield, it will actually start shrinking faster than it already is. And since this is the first battle, we'll just go straight into a turf war. Okay. So, Turf War is basically what you expect. It is the, um, it's basically just you out in the field. You have to cover up as much turf as possible and more turf than your opponents to win the game. I think each round is three minutes long, so you can use that to uh, plan out your strategy. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I, I'm not talking much because I really do want to win my first match, but it seems really rough. How are we losing so badly? You've got to be kidding me. I was pulling more than just my weight. Are you serious? I did so much. I did so much. I did so much work. Yo. I did so much work. So that's what battles are like. Hey, did you happen to notice how some of your opponents had cool looking name displays? Those are called splash tags, and they're fully customizable to show off your personality. Wait. Hmm, it looks like you might have a bit of older date on your splash tag. Let's see if we can get that sorted out. Yeah. So, since I've played, I'm pretty sure this is because I, I played Splatoon 2, which was shown in the first episode, that I got Anarchy, um, that Anarchy battle, and these Golden Sheldon license right now so now all I need is just to get my nickname up and I'll be ready for more battles if you see DG 2368 then you know that the master's coming for your wallet <laughs> now that you've got a fresh splash tag it's time to get out there and make it famous 
Well, not necessarily yet. Okay, I have no idea with these pack of cards, but I guess I have an extra. Sunken scroll stickers. Get from Splatnet 3. This is like a new banner. This banner was um given. This banner was uh well my friend showed me that I can use this uh QR code to get me this banner. I'm not pretty alright for my first battle. In fact, I'm sorry, but I really need to know. I really need to know. In the comments down below, please tell me that you managed to win your first turf war. Because you s I'm convinced that I'm convinced that <laughs> whatever is the re I'm convinced that my first that everybody's first turf war is going to result in them losing. It's either that or my teammates really well my teammates actually didn't do that much because one of them got spied five times. Killed nobody, even used no specials. How do you use no special? What were you doing? Two of my teammates didn't even use their specials. It's like they didn't even cover turf. Well, that was a pretty enlightening display. Um. So, with no, with, without further ado, um, I hope I used that phrase right, because I never used it. Uh, <laughs> let's continue. Bro, I, I did turf four at the time I did now just because um I don't really play I don't really play turf four that much anymore. Like after I was after I stopped recording my Octo expansion videos, I basically just stopped playing Splatoon because I, I'm not really big uh I'm not too crazy with the uh with the turf wars, but now that I have people to play with, I'll probably play it a bit more. So you want, you're going to be expecting to see a lot more Turf War battles and videos themselves than anything. But as far as this, as far as this playthrough goes, you'll be seeing maybe like something other than the story, like once every couple episodes, or maybe after each world. Who knows? Sucks. Freaking auto snipers. Freaking hate these things, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird not needing to uh, explore around the area. Swirling, swirling, whirling. Navigate platforms to reach the goal. Hello, Callie. You want to say something? Oh. Just gave us free power eggs. Anyways, absorbency and you. We used to go using sponges. Honestly, with all the stuff I've been doing, I don't even think I'm going to need extra power eggs. Right? I'm going to try to play all this stuff in uh one go. But this is a sponge. The sponge will fill in, fill up with your ink, and it uh go down with enemy ink. So be careful. I don't know if the story mode is going to have any enemy uh, ink filling up sponges, but 
Well, normally, you'll just find enemy ink, get rid of the, uh, the ink that's been absorbed in the sponge. So be aware of that. Be aware of what your enemies are shooting at, because even if they miss you, then you, you, can, you still have a chance of uh, getting screwed over. Tenta missiles. Tenta missiles have huge range and lock on to any enemy that are in the range. And they're honestly they're one of my favorite specials. I think I used to have them on a, a set of weapon in Splatoon 2, so well that that sentence made no sense. What I'm saying is that I use Tenta Missiles the most out of any special in the game. Or in the previous game. I'm pretty sure they are new to Splatoon 2, so nice to see them return. But not only can you use sponges to, uh... Okay, thank you for ruining that for me, Marie. Yeah, you can use sponges for cover as well. Not as versatile as you think it would be, but still pretty useful. It is actually nice to think about it, because you can utilize a lot of the, uh... You can utilize a lot of the uh, things you learn in the story mode to help you out in the get a small fry in the actual uh, multiplayer itself. But anyways, oh, the stage is still going. Oh, here we go. Final checkpoint. Got another Trizuka. I'm actually not going to use them. Because I'm going to utilize Small Fry. I want, I want to get used to utilizing Small Fry a lot because it also it, I think it's also going to help me out with just better placing some of my other bombs. But if you do save your armor and your your uh, special weapon at the end of the stage you get bonus power eggs which is really good because it adds up with every level because so i'm pretty sure almost every level has uh you what you found small fry okay anyways let's continue Ooh, we're using the Slosher this time. This is the same thing as Explosher, but it doesn't explode once it... Well, it doesn't explode on impact. It basically leaves like a big... It, well, it, it kind of has an explosion effect, but it's very light. But it does have a lot of range, and you can utilize that pretty well. And as it's actually a good way to show off like how ink works in this game because even if you hit the surface of something it will still like splash down I wish I didn't miss those power those squid rings though God why is the music so good? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's whack. <laughs> that was whack. <laughs> I do have a burst bomb, actually. Oh, an orange one. Okay. Pretty alright. I kind of got a little, uh... Scared with the, uh... <laughs> I kind of got scared with how, uh... The stage was basically an auto-scroller. <laughs> Fine, small fry. Yeah, maybe it does find hidden stuff. Hold on. I'm going to use small fry for this. Yeah. Oh, that's not weird. It's crazy. It's cool. That big bubble. Alright. Let's do one more level. And wouldn't you know it. It was, it's the exact same super I was cursed with on the demo. The crab tank. We haven't seen the main weapons I use. But, this is the crab tank. I'm not a big fan of this weapon because it's pretty slow and it turns, it turns, what, the tank turns pretty slow. Um... You're not shielded all the way. Your tank has a little bit of a shield in the front, but if your back gets hit, you're, you're fully just exposed to the elements. But you can roll around to try to avoid stuff. It actually helps with quick turning as well. That's probably like one added benefit. And aside from shooting like regular uh, turret shots, I guess is what you would call it, you press R, get this big and Big old, big and honestly, I find no point of doing that actually because holy crap, this attacks so fast. Where's that going? I'm, I'm not really too excited with this special. It, it's, it looks cool, but honestly, it feels underwhelming at times. Though I, I, I though I was forced to use it a lot, so I've definitely, I've gotten used to uh, it. I just wish it, uh. Had more, you know. But you know what? I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, that was fishy. Get those ink octo missiles out of here. Wow. 
what? Is that actually supposed to be like a robot? Is that what it's supposed to like go out for? Okay, I'm curious. They have that there for a reason. Alright, what's over here? 25 crab eggs? Well, crab eggs. A freaking power egg, are you serious? We're not going to talk about how I fell. Like, erase that from your memories, like, right? That's pretty much it for that. Is this a direct path to? It looks like it might be. So you know what? I'm gonna not take that right now. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can actually clear out this entire thing now. Didn't find anything still. Oh, there's this. Woo! Another food ticket. What you find, small fry? Record. On oh, a sunken scroll, number five. Okay. This will be the last thing I'll do for this episode then. For the inklings and octolings of the Splatlands, aggressive actions is the best way to make a splash in a local scene. Youths will often dress themselves in, a, in the style of a delinquent or hooligan to <laughs> intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, then. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you guys did, you know what to do. Show some support by leaving a, a like, subscribe, even comment. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out, my gamers. Where is he going? <laughs>